Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making underwater crystals um, out of this kit that I got from Kmart. Um, so it, I've already opened it and gotten all the things out and checked with inside. I checked the box, I checked everything. Um, I got the instructions and it has said to um, place the area in a nice and clean like area. Now I used papers um, and so let's move on to the second step. The second step says if you want to use your aquarium, so this, um, you need oh, the tank. You will need to um, use aluminium foil if you want to use it over and over again. Now this time I'm not going to be using that, so I don't really need that. But usually you will need aluminium foil. Second, uh, third step is you will wear your goggles for eye protection. So I'm going to put that on. And then you will need to remove the growing rocks that is inside here. So I'm going to show you what's inside. And so these are it. There we go. Usually there's four, but I used two to um, like hit them. So these are the ones that I have hit down. Oh, that I have broken. And these are the ones that I've broken up. And so what you want to do with the rest is put them back in the container and close them up. So now with these ones that are broken, you will, what you want to do is you want to get a few. Um, you want to separate them in the tank, not touching the walls and not touching each other. So now we're going to use the blue and the yellow. That's what I'm going to use. And it doesn't matter if they touch each other now, but later you will use a spoon to separate them. But make sure, just make sure they don't really touch each other. Uh, make sure to use the gloves because they might, um, they're a bit poisonous. And yeah, so then you might wanna separate them and make sure, make sure now we're thinking of them not touching each other, but we really need to think about them and the walls. So make sure they do not touch the walls. Maybe this one. Maybe this one there. Okay, that looks good. Now, the fourth step is to keep, uh, yeah, so the rest of them, you wanna add them into a little bag. Now, a reusable bag and just like, yeah, for later. So I will be moving these. And so then um, the fourth step is to, the, the fifth step is to empty out both bottles of the growing solution and to um, make sure they do not touch your hands. So that's why we are using gloves. Now, um, you want to use them really slowly and not too fast because then these can move. So I'm going to open this and make sure to use a parent guardian for these. I'm going to open these bottles. So, this is being opened right now. So that's enough. Just right there. You can see. And so slowly, not too much. And remember, um, you want to use gloves. I'm going to keep reminding you this because this is very dangerous. Make sure to have a parent or guardian with you. I'm gonna push onto these. Oh. Can you help? Push this while I open the other one. That one. So with this, we will want to keep um, doing the same process as we did before. So. They're all touching the walls, but it doesn't matter. We will use the spoon. I think that's all of 
bit. That's about the end of it. Make sure it doesn't touch anything. So I'm gonna leave these here to not do anything. We will use no spoon, spoon, spoon. Um, we'll use the spoon to separate them. Now this might be a bit hard. So we wanna make sure. That's about it. It's not touching anything. I leave this here, I don't want it touching anything else. So now you want to use your really hot water to, oh, warm water, not really that hot. And you want to pour it slowly into the container. Now, sometimes you might add it up to there. Yeah, maybe up to there. Then you want to use your spoon, oh, and then what you want to do is, oh yes, you want to use your spoon, you want to mix these, they are starting to These aren't touching, they can't touch anything. You still can't make them touch. I'm gonna start mixing from the top so I don't really bring that much power. Now, this process will take six hours to finally begin to show so you'll need to um, wait six hours to actually see the process